guys, here we go. So we're going to start it off with this beautiful, beautiful book. Night Tiger, I got to say, this is the first ever horror comic book that I've ever had in my possession. You know, I've only been collecting for maybe two years. It's not like I'm this expert collector or anything. I just literally start different avenues I can go down. This is just a beautiful book. Old school art. You know, it doesn't do enough justice except when you have it in your hand. You can look at the colors, how rich they are, the details and everything, the faces, the expressions, everything that they make. We're going to start it off with Journey Into Mystery, number one, I believe. But this is volume two, Comic Crypt of Castle Hill. I hope you're watching this because I know you're really going to love this one. You know, I hate reading my comic books and taking them out the mylars and everything. But as you can see, this one is <laughs> this one isn't a 9.0. Start reading it and enjoy it, which I will. Journey into Mystery, number one, volume two. This is a 1972 book. The cover is by Gil Kane, if I believe. First appearance, Professor Conrad and Dan Kirowan. Yeah, Dan Kirowan. Crypt, I think you know who these guys are. I'm gonna know pretty soon. And another fun little fact about Mr. Dig Me No Grave, the devil actually makes an appearance in this book. Let's carry on with the show and see what we got next. All right, guys, we just keep rolling, rolling, and rolling. This cover is by Mark A. Nelson. This is Dark Horse Presents number 24. I believe this is the first appearance of Aliens. I, I didn't do too much research into these books, not until I read them and everything and get real, really into them. But uh, I think I read somewhere that this is the first appearance of Aliens. I like this one a lot. Don't know much about their origins, so it it'll be good to learn all these things. I like the art as well. It's in beautiful shape, by the way. Very grateful to get these books. Very happy. Can't wait to dig into them. Dark Horse Presents, number 24, First Appearance of Aliens. I don't know if you guys have seen this in previous videos, but this is where I drink my coffee. Bro. Look at that guy. Are you my twin? Once again, Night Tiger, thank you very much for this beautiful, beautiful book. Neil Adams cover, of course, 1978, Action Comics number 485. I can add this to my Action Comics number 30, which I do have. It's a 1941 book. I know a little bit about it. I think Superman has a dream. Kryptonite being turned into metal or something like that, or, or they get rid of all the kryptonite in the world. I don't know if it's just a dream or something that Supes is having, but it has like a bad reaction. It's going to be good to look at the good old Neil Adams uh, art. All right, now this book, I'm really happy I got it. Night Tiger, you are the man, bro. Batman number 441. It's a George Perez cover, which is old school. I love it. You can see the penny and everything there that he has in the Batcave, the big penny and all that stuff. Let me tell you guys something a little bit about this book. So this book is actually pretty cool. Uh, it has a couple of significant facts. So on page 14 of this book, uh, Dick actually calls Tim Jeff. And they don't even correct it or anything like that throughout the book. They just leave it alone. All right, and, and that was pretty funny, I thought. I mean, Jeff, who the hell is Jeff? Another tidbit about this book, which gets better and better. On page 19, the Batmobile's not even colored. <laughs> in, in the panel, in the comic panel, it looks like Batman is driving a white Batmobile, which is pretty cool. I love, love, love finding little tidbits like that of books. You know, not every book has to have a first appearance. When you find little gems like this, like the Batmobile not being colored, you know, editor mistakes or painter mistakes or whatever, you gotta love that stuff. You can't make that stuff up. And the beauty of it is that not a lot of people know about it. Batman, number 441, A Lonely Place of Dying, part three of five. Another, 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 another beautiful Silver Age book. Fantastic Four, number 123. This is another 1972 book. Sal Buscema did the cover for this one. And of course, it was written by the man, Stan Lee. Richard Nixon actually makes an appearance in this book. Billy is Gary. Where are you going? I told you guys, don't give him the tapes. Dude, this is like some funny stuff. I love this so much. This is going to be a great read as well. Fantastic Four, number 123. Written by Stan Lee. Covered by Sal Buscem. Then humans, a good day to die. When is it ever a good day to die? Got everybody in this book. Beautiful cover, beautiful colors, love it. First appearance of Muckus. Cover is by Rich Buckler and Frank Giacoya. I apologize, guys, if you ever watched this video. I dig your work. Still only 25 cents. All the day, all the day. Special double size issue, Moon Knight number 25. Cover is by Bill 
Sienkiewicz. This is actually the first appearance of the Black Spectra. That dude right there that looks like a better bill from uh, Thor. First Moon Knight book that I have ever owned in my possession. Night Tiger, you're breaking records. Uh, sorry for the glare, guys. You can see the little pod right there standing. That is not part of the book. That's actually my tripod. Black and white, really, really simple, really simple, nothing too crazy, old school nostalgic vibe, you know what I mean, that old school art where it's just like drawing a sketch gets you excited because you know it's going to come out ridiculously awesome. Moon Knight number 25, first appearance of the Black Spectre. What can I say guys, Greg Capullo, Scott Snyder, Batman, number 50, what are you going to do about it? This book never gets old. Mr. Night Tiger, thank you so much. I do have one of these in my collection. This is my second copy. This makes the whole book, the breath coming out of Diana's mouth with the eyes, the beady eyes, hand on the sword. Time to whoop some ass. Great condition. This is another 9.8, 9.6. I can't have enough copies of this book. This is a conclusion to my ALK from Night Tiger. Dude, you are so awesome. This is my first, first, first ever ALK. Feels good to give. But when you receive, man, oh man, it's like Christmas. Grand Slam, brother. Thank you so much for this. I appreciate it so much. Check out his work from one creator to another, Night Tiger. I really do appreciate this. Bye, guys.